way. So thank you so much, yes. guys, for making it happen. <laughs> Along the way, we've had uh, we've had a lot of special guests come up and, and uh, I suppose jam with us, and uh, had one in New York. We had a couple of people in Atlanta, or well, here in Atlanta. We played a show about a month ago as well, and uh, we're going to get a few of those special people up tonight. Yes. Who's the daddy? So Dragon Guys, please come out and introduce yourselves. Hello. We have a new bassist, we have a tap, uh, someone on the tambourine, we have pretty uh -huh. girls ha doing uh -huh. harmonies uh -huh. for us. Uh -huh. Alright, uh -huh. if everyone would like to please come towards the microphones and introduce themselves. Ladies, would you like to start?
tôi và là Every town that we've gone into, we've uh, met beautiful musicians along the way. And with some of these people we performed with before and some we haven't. And they've all contacted us through our shows or over social media and said, we want to come be part of the show. So this is how it's all come together. It's all from the love and energy from you guys. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, guys. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Welcome to we started off last night rehearsing at the back of the Maori atrium, right? And then we got kicked out of there because there was like a hardcore, like, death metal thing going on. We're like, oh, come on. <laughs> and then we went to uh, level 10, and then the cops kicked us out of there. We're like, sorry. <laughs> and then we ended up in our bedroom. Yeah, which is the penthouse, obviously. Yeah, the cops kicked us out. We're all sitting on one bed going, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Getting to know you. <laughs> This next, track is, uh, this next track is one of my originals, it's uh, one of my EP. Uh, we actually sold out of my, my, ori my original CDs on this tour, and uh, so it's only available on iTunes or Spotify at the moment, but uh, yeah, you can check it on there. Does anyone know what FTW stands for? No, it's actually Feel This Way, which is what this, uh, what this track is called, Oops. Um, <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so this one's called Feel This Way, it's the title track of my EP and uh, yeah. Welcome to your Saturday night, Dragon Call!
you get the occasional strange look uh, on that one, especially when we normally play as a duo, we don't have the band sort of supporting us, but there are. Uh, <laughs> you're in the band. You're in the band. <laughs> uh, there really is the occasional moment where um, people kind of go, oh, what's going on with the guitar? Because no one else is playing guitar and my, my guitar keeps going. But basically, I've got a loop pedal down here, which you might have seen like Ed Sheeran or maybe Howie Day is a more American uh, uh, loop pedal user. And basically, I just. Push a button, it goes round and round, yeah. Push a button, it goes round and round, yeah. Push a button, it goes round and round, yeah. Push a button, it goes round and round, yeah. Push a button, it goes round and round, yeah. Push a button, it goes round. You get the other. <laughs> So we've had many sordid nights with this loop pedal, I can tell you ladies and gentlemen. Sorted? Yes, many sordid. Sorted in Australia means, uh... Naughty. Naughty nights. Corrupt. Corrupt. Debaucherous, one might say. What? Us? Never. Uh, so, uh, Jake and I used to live together when I used to live back in Down Under, when we were both convicts. When <laughs> <laughs> they vanished us from there, you're welcome. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so now uh, we uh, used to live together and like we'd, you know, start off with a cup of cocktails and take the mic around with a loop pedal and it was all very, you know, very classy as you can imagine. And then we'd bring the dog in on it so he'd go, rawr, 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 on the loop and then mum would come in and be like, what are you doing kids? Go to bed! And then we'd loop it so it'd be like, what are you doing kids? Go to bed! What are you doing kids? Go to bed! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it just got ridiculous, the poor neighbours you don't even want to know what kind of state they're in now. That's why we had to leave Australia. <laughs> so here you are. Uh, so what have we got next, Daisy? Get down. Okay, cool. All right, so this is another little funky tune that we're going to hand over to you right now. It's called Get Down. Get down, get down. <laughs>
us that whole song, have we, gang? Nope. No. 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 So, welcome to our rehearsal. <laughs> we love you guys. Usually Jake and I do a set and we've got some, some pretty get jiggy covers in it, but uh, we were told, no, no covers. No, no, no covers. No covers for you. No. So we're like, we need more of you. Yeah, this next one is, is called Streetwise. Uh, it's actually on my EP. The only place to see it is on YouTube. I, I did a version for Balcony TV. Some people may have heard of that. It got franchises all over the world. It started in uh, Dublin, Ireland. And uh, yeah, it's called Streetwise. It's sort of about following your dreams. And um, we just, just what we're doing on the tour. Yay! Yay! Because Jake's been amazing, guys. Like, seriously, like, we were in, there was, like, we're pretty well traveled people, right? And I travel all the time. And I always try and drag everyone into my ridiculous dreams stuff and and um like last night I'm like they said here do you want to MC the costume competition I'm like yes yes I do come on Jay come on baby daddy let's do it and like, like, what you say? like and lights camera go and they're like oh, I guess we're doing this <laughs> and we're all exhausted after a long day and every second word is 3D printed polystyrofoam by Andrew Drelluento Villuente. And I'm like, oh, you kidding me? I thought it be John Smith made a puppet. <laughs> that would be a good intro. John Smith made a puppet. <laughs> but we got to, like, there was a moment there, guys, where we got a little bit nervous because we were in, um, where was it, Jakey? I think it was like Lake Charles. Yeah. So the producer, the promoter had put us up in this beautiful, I don't know if you guys, has anyone ever been to Lake Charles? No. Woo. One person. <laughs> it was like, woo. <laughs> Jake had won. So anyway, so we got to Lake Charles. It was great. The promoter looked after us. We stayed in this ridiculous casino in the La Bourge, blah, blah, blah. And we spent a lot of time on the meandering lake in a tube. We're like, this is the best show ever. One of those pool, pools that just goes around and around like the loop. <laughs> yep. Yes. And then um, the reality of life came crashing in very abruptly when we got to the truck stop. I don't believe it was a truck stop. It looks like they were cooking something there, and I don't think it was burgers. <laughs> very, very sketchy. Uh, there was a small person turned to the wall just speaking to themselves. Um, there was a lady that every now and then just randomly clapped. And one that would woof, also. <laughs> and for the first time on our trip, I was like, Jake, whatever you do, don't act like a tourist. <laughs> sure enough, you just went around in an I Love New York t shirt because we've just been to visit Matt. Yeah, so we've been to done a show with Matt, so I'm like, New York hat, New York shirt, GPS New York trying to find the right location. And I'm like, maybe we can Uber to New Orleans, like, <laughs> I'm pregnant. Half hours we had all the equipment that we were travelling <laughs> with, and it was so sketchy, so when you know, finally the bus rocks up, we get onto the Greyhound bus, it's pretty sketchy as it is, we go into New Orleans, and like, probably 15 minutes into the into New Orleans, um, you hear this boom, and we're all like, I was like,
were here with us at Dragon Con last year, and even before that, and even before that, and even before that. <laughs> oh, I'm the biggest fan of you guys, so I like to stalk you guys around the place. Come to Dragon Con. Come to Dragon Con. Dragon Con's the best. We love Dragon Con. Woo! Woo! Favorite convention of all time. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So damn good. So thank you so much for having me for like the 20 millionth year. You realize that when you guys go home, I just sit here and wait for you to come back. <laughs> I do, it's like the walking dead zombie. It's not like a stupid big walking dead. Um, Alright, so uh, we've got Closer. Now Closer is a really cool little song and we premiered it here last year for you guys. It's actually the world premiere. Uh, speaking about dragging people into pursuing their dreams, I have to be careful because my mother and father-in-law are here tonight, so I have to be careful what I say. Oh my God! Baby daddy daddy. Baby daddy. Baby daddy daddy. <laughs> So my beautiful man is very successful at his day job and he, he lives in the corporate world and he's amazing at it. And uh, but one of his other passions is cinematography and he has a genius brain. So I'm always like, babe, pursue your passion, follow your bliss, live in the now. Because I would also like to eat and pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> details, details. So uh, um, when I first met him, I wrote this beautiful song for him and I said, one day you're going to direct a music video, we're going to do it together, and it happened. So thank you so much, babe, for coming on board. If you've seen this video, you know what I mean, you've we'll seen this video as well. So it's called Closer, it's actually a dance song, um, and it's, we almost killed each other through the process, didn't we, my love? No. Yes. But we as well. So it's, it's a very special little thing. You can check it out at Closer uh, on my website, which is gdf.com. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a crack. Thank you. 
forget about it. <laughs> so this one's for um, what you got for me. We'll leave that to, uh, to your imagination. I think Hollywood's a funny little town. It's a bit of a heartbreaker, but we love it because it is amazing. It's full of beautiful work opportunities and amazing people and amazing things. You've just got to siphon through a lot of crap to find it. Uh, so this is a song that I wrote when I first moved, moved in the early days.
Yeah. 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 This is the completion of our Wonderland tour that we've been on for two, over two months. Over three? Over three. We've gone to Australia, New York, Lake Charles, New Orleans, Allentown, Martha's Vineyard, San Francisco, Hollywood, Houston, Atlanta, Denver. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few other places and we're ending it here with you tonight. So it's
Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next year, I'm sure. Woo! 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 So tomorrow, we've got a beautiful panel at 10 o'clock. So come and say hello to us. Uh, if the panel is to you, no worries, Jacob. Actually, it's on the app. There you go. There's a bit of fun one for you tonight. It's on the app is where it is. And we also have the premiere of Hashtag, which is a beautiful film that was made by all of you guys. They help and love of all of you guys once more. That's at 7 o'clock tomorrow as well. And I'll be in the Walk of Fame all day tomorrow. Um, they're waiting to see you and say hello. And you can come and throw rotten tomatoes at me if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys!